Matt with Two Feet, Two Worlds, and today uh, we're going to do another episode of Too Different to Eat uh, here at home. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is I actually went and bought some fruit, um, and the fruit, I have three fruits here. I'm going to tell you what they are, uh, we're going to try to get into them, and then we're going to eat them, and I'm going to tell you what they taste like. So, uh, first fruit we have here is called the sugar apple. Uh, you can see it's kind of textured and has like a, uh, this one looks a little bad. I don't know if it is bad. I've never had it before, but we're going to get into that and see um, stems falling out. Might be rotten, so we'll see about that. But uh, then we have a small fruit here called a mangosteen. Uh, you may have had this. I think they're a little more popular uh, but it's a little purple ball. Uh, it's really hard actually uh, You can hear pretty hard and then we have uh, salak or snakeskin fruit, uh, which actually has a texture uh, Quite like snakeskin um, I'm probably gonna put some pictures in the video so you can see uh, What they look like a little better uh, the lighting in here is not very good. So uh, Well, I don't know which one to try so First, I've actually had the mango steam before, so I know what it tastes like, so I'm gonna try that one uh, last um, and just describe it for you. I actually wanna, I'm really interested in the, the salak fruit, uh, so I'm gonna take my knife, big knife, hopefully I don't cut myself. We're gonna cut into it, see what it tastes like. It's actually, the skin is very, I mean, it's almost like snake, snake skin and how hard it is and all that. Um, but I'm gonna try not to cut myself get into this. Oh, there we go. Very interesting. Uh, it's a very thin paper-like um, paper -like skin. And it has like four lobes of fruit in the middle. They're actually kind of hard. Very interesting. doesn't smell very good, but I'm gonna taste it. So, get all of it nice and out of its shell. All right, looks like there's some, there's a couple brown spots on it right there, but I'm not gonna eat those. All right, so let me cut some of the fruit off. Nice little chunk right there. I'm gonna taste it, it's kinda, it's pretty hard. It's got a weird smell to it. Um, I can't really describe it. I don't know what to describe that as. I've never had anything like this. Alright, here it goes. Hmm. It's very interesting. It's not bad. It's almost like pineapple mixed with banana. Hmm. I'm just going to eat around and see. That's very interesting. Definitely pineapple. I don't know about banana now. Um, the seed is very big. It's a big part of it. I gotta read if you can eat this, but you might be able to eat the seed. Definitely pineapple mixed with something. Don't know. Don't know exactly what yet. But it's not bad. I would eat it again. All right, so the next one we have is a sugar apple. Like I said, it has a very interesting uh, skin on it. Um, it's almost like the whole fruit. I, I honestly don't know what to eat in here. Okay. Um, it has these little tiny pieces inside of it with uh, it has a seed in each little piece, almost like a pomegranate. 
All right. It's not bad. It has a creamy texture. Um, the only thing I can compare it to that I've had is a loquat. Um, some people call them Japanese plums or Chinese plums. Uh, they grow in the States, uh, the trees. I'll put a picture of what a loquat looks like, but it almost tastes like a loquat. Uh, it's very um, creamy and sweet. It doesn't really have a flavor like any fruit that, that I've ever tried other than a loquat, so it's not bad. Um, looks like they, they might spoil very quickly. I bought these last week, but they're already starting to spoil. Um, and they've been in the fridge for a while, so. And the last one I'm gonna try is the mango steam. Mango steams almost look like a little grenade um, or a, a large, almost like a fruit you'd find in a video game or a cartoon. Um, I can't really focus on it, but uh, yeah, they're really hard. Every part of them is hard. Uh, the seed or the leaves and uh, the stem and all that. Um, I'm gonna dig in, test this one out. Uh, I gotta be very careful because these are very hard. I'll cut myself. All right. If I'm not mistaken, these are part of the it's the fruit of an evergreen tree. If I'm not mistaken. But um, inside it's white. Um, you can see how thick the uh, the actual skin is. So um, inside the fruit is white. There's a bunch of little uh, the little fruits like this. I'm gonna just eat it. Um, some of them have seeds, uh, these ones don't, uh, the, the fruits I'm trying on these, so, uh, it's really sweet and it has like a tangy, also flavor to it. Very good, I like mangosteen, um, always have. But, uh, let's see if I can get a seed or show you a seed out of here. Alright, this one didn't have a seed, so. I might do a mistake and maybe I don't remember and they don't really have a seed, but not bad. Um, as far as which one uh, is my favorite, which one I wouldn't eat again, I think I would eat all of them again. Uh, they're not that bad. Um, I would just like to try, uh, I would like to try the sugar apple maybe when it's uh, ripe and see if there's a different flavor. Uh, to that, it doesn't seem like it's very ripe. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but there's tons of little tiny uh, seeds and the fruit is wrapped around the seeds. Oh, there's one right there. Um, the salak, or the snakeskin fruit, uh, it's very interesting. I probably would eat it again, uh, but it's not my favorite. It's The texture and the flavor is a little, uh, a little different. Uh, and like I said, the mango seed, I would definitely eat it again. For our last fruit, we have a visitor. Uh, this is my wife, Lydia. Hello. Um, as you can see here, we have a very strange looking fruit in a box. Uh, our last fruit is actually called a horned melon, and you'll see why it's called that. If you can't tell now, um, I'm going to try to hold it a little closer for you. This is called a horned melon. I've never tried it before. Have you tried it before? I have not. Had, had you seen one before coming to China? No, nothing like this. Okay. Well, it comes in a box, and there's some papers. Um, you can see a boy and a girl drinking one. Yeah, there's straws inside of it, and they're drinking it. We're not going to drink it. We're actually going to eat it. It also has a package of, uh, I'm guessing, some kind of syrup or sugary thing. So it has this package. I don't know if we're going to put it in there. Um, but I'm going to cut it open and we're going to see what's in there. So, uh, let's cut this open first, see what it is. All right. Oh, let's sharpen our knives. All right. So, uh, it's honey. Okay. So I think it's honey. You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try this. It's definitely honey. Oh. 
There's honeycomb on the package. I didn't see that, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, there is. Um, all right, so we're gonna try this uh, horned melon. All right, I don't know how to do this, so we're just gonna cut it down the middle. Ooh. Oh, I hope it's still good. It's a little, I heard it was lime green on the inside. This is definitely not lime green. It smells like yozer, um, grapefruit. Oh, okay. Um, it kind of smells like cucumber to me. As you can see, it's like really dull colored. I, I don't know if that's because uh, I waited too long to eat it, but it's supposed to be like really, really uh, lime green on the inside. Um, so I'm going to go get a spoon. Actually, we'll just cut it like this. The seeds look like melon seeds or cucumber seeds. Um, oh, goodness. Very juicy. It's getting everywhere. All right. So we're going to try this. Let's see what we think of that. Maybe that's why there's honey with it. I don't know. It tastes like cucumber, mm. but it also has like squashish, squash, squash seeds in it. Mm. It's kind of bland. Yeah. It's not very honey. sweet. They included honey with it, so we're going to see what this is like. Yeah, it's not bad. Good. I don't know if I would consider it. I don't know if it's oh, a fruit I would eat. It's so much better with the honey. All right. We'll see how this is. Like, it's not bad by itself, but I wouldn't go out and be like, oh man, I really want a horned melon. Mm. It actually is better with the honey. For sure. So yeah. I'm done. <laughs> horned melon. I think I'll save this for, uh, for our son. But anyway, horned melon, it's not that bad. I do want to try uh, maybe one that's a little more ripe. That is lime green on the inside. I'm going to include a picture of what that looks like uh, on the inside um, so you can see, but it's definitely not lime green. It's more like brown, orange is what this is. So, all right, well, that's the last fruit, um, horned melon. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If, if you, if you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Uh, there's more of these videos as well as uh, some videos just about China and uh, back in America. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.